गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग इट्स माई प्लेजर टू स्पीक ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ पी एम आई फ्यू मिनिट्स आई विल बी टेकिंग यू अदर फ्रेंड्स हूज एवर पॉसिबल यू कैन स्टे बैक ओके I think because of uh, parallel sessions and uh, otherwise would have been crowd full here. Yeah, please come in. Uh, my name is Srini. I am one of the ACP practitioner, Agile practitioner, and also a, a small volunteer for PMI. As you know, PMI is run by all volunteers, and I am not belong to either employee of PMI or anything. with my enthusiasm and i thought of sharing just a few words as a practitioner just to give a quick background i am one of the pmp certified in 2006 and uh, acp certified in 2012 i work for ge and i am one of the practitioner of lean over the time and when this agile concepts came when we are doing a traditional project management so organizations are looking for a transformation and they wanted uh, connect with the external people some standards some kind of latest practices and uh, always uh, the certifications will make identify us in the crowd so that was one of the need from the organization and also passion for uh, writing the exams so that you can read and learn and over and above you will connect with people when you are meeting on the forums probably that is one thing close to my heart so i'm uh, by way of doing this pmp certifications and uh, practicing them probably i feel uh, four of the areas i got impacted positively one is on the work side so in the organization they identify in the crowd if you are pmp certified that is like a, a brand particularly when you're working with overseas people and uh, clients outside and some of the latin america friends who are in my organization they think that pmp is something like uh, you are going into everest like that that is their feeling but sometimes always the certifications will help in difficult times they, that is a benchmark like you know that's what i feel and in the community i am being volunteer for the both bangalore chapter and also pmi india whenever there are some activities so i meet so many people learning each other and also sharing some good practices so that way it is a huge benefit for me and also i energize i meet sometime very young people and very experienced people so that is the only forums you can and being in the chapter in bangalore we meet uh, every two weeks for uh, knowledge sharing sessions and also annual conference and many other activities and by virtue of my passion i become a guest faculty for both pmp and also acp quest programs connected by the chapter here and uh, also if you look at uh, some of the uh, the friendship made so through pmi facilitated conferences i was called for to give some kind of knowledge sharing and whatever the practices we do so that is one more thing uh, probably by connecting sometimes they say volunteerism is contagious so that is one really good forum i feel that you know we can uh, utilize that activity there are many community of practices and many people around the world you will come across by joining those practices and also within bangalore sometimes we don't know very next building uh, the person is doing wonders we don't have to share something appropriate information company related but there is a way that we can always learn from each other whatever we do and things like that and on the family side sometimes i feel the the self organized teams and this kind of whatever we are doing at work or advocating that also little bit my family also i think they are that way so instead of everything depending on me saturday half day i'll keep for myself 
so that is more of going into pmp practices or going to chapter activities and like that so that made actually I, you you will surprise my son is writing 10th class exams and i am writing uh, one of these uh, pmp exams so he and his teachers were saying that you no know, your son is telling because you are not sleeping that's why he is forced to read also till till we go to sleep so it it takes i mean lot of energy and you will connect with uh, different people both younger generation and as well as elder, elders so th that's what i think i was speaking for more myself just to give a, a small glimpse of what uh, uh, i mean pma population along uh, how many are acp anyone in the room ac agile certified practitioner yeah it, 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 i i am not uh, doing any sales but the just from my heart what i am saying compared to your uh, any other trainings or certificates this gives some kind of a broad spectrum of uh, different knowledge areas it can be scrum it can be xp and more lean and as he was saying so xp practices that just concluded a pair programming or you can do test driven development so depends on your area of work so that test your knowledge it gives lot of confidence that no i also know something so that that's the feeling we get taking the exam and sometimes which i like more uh, here is every year you are by virtue of your pdus accumulating so one way or other you are again revisiting so one friend was saying that no if you take ias exam and if you pass that is great but over the years what happens the amount of the intelligence you kept or you studied you sharpen your mind that decays there is nobody will ask that after 3 years or 4 years whether are you really in that mindset so pmi has that kind of uh, forum like you know you constantly you cultivate and sharpen yourself that's one key thing i i see that that's a big value add for all of us so that's all i thought of just sharing as a simple practitioner by virtue of taking these exams so sometimes friends uh, will feel that you know if anything required sometimes they will avoid also are re srini may ask to take some either exam or something but uh, sometimes most of the times it feel good that you know so you you will be called for uh, some kind of an advice that uh, okay i should go take this exam or that one and keep uh, brushing ourselves so in the end it's all uh, professional network and it keeps us always engaged energized and also sharpen ourselves that's all if any questions for me yes there is a pmi website if you go there is a icon with acp there is a stall here and a brochure also we can pass so you need to have a 1500 hours of agile experience agile experience in the sense any of the agile practices if you are doing if you are a practitioner so 1500 hours of experience in any life cycle of the project and 2000 hours of a regular project management experience and if you are already a pmp that 2000 hours uh, proofs not required and this 1500 hours you can show for the last 3 years so that means even last 4 year also 4 years also is fine and uh, after that you need to have 21 hours of contact hours of uh, training a formal training so you can either take from any of the reps many are there nowadays and even bangalore chapter offers some time and if you are already scrum certified they give some 14 pdus plus you can suffice with any of your internal trainings maybe i can if you who's ever interested i can take you in detail so that's a overall 21 hours of contact hours of training plus 1500 hours of agile experience 
usually a practitioner, not necessarily PMP, and uh, those who are uh, uh, in the role of either scrum masters or uh, potential scrum masters or potential product owners, not necessarily you are uh, in and out working on agile uh, activities, but you are a project management practitioner and uh, uh, willing to take the next role. So those people will be really good targets. See, project here, one thing is, uh, to my experience, what is different from regular PMP to ACP, you don't have to be PMP. And uh, you may not be completely into project management role. You may be leading a technical team, a, a group of teams, even non-IT. So as long as if you are following in any of these agile practices, like uh, in the manifesto tells, you know, the individuals and interactions over processes and tools, or working software or comprehensive documentation. So any of those things, if you are practicing, then you are good to take. I saw one gentleman from bank, Vijaya Bank. So he took an exam. So they're, uh, they're, they're the way, they, what they're doing, it is an amazing experience. Probably I'll connect with that gentleman as well. He has some engineering experience also initially. So that's how you will surprise that you know, somebody who are ex-defense, what, the, what that person told me, he was in Navy, agile at sea like that. So probably whosoever run ships, they're almost they're agile. Ship is the only vehicle I think doesn't have brakes. So he was mentioning that. So that means you have to be always uh, proactive and move the things in a real agile way. So you, anyone who are into these practices, they're encouraged to take the exam. And it is always, you know, this tests actually your uh, your practitioner experience. So if you are into that practice, certainly it's a good certification to take. Yes, similar to PMP, it is three years. So you need to acc accumulate. If you are already PMP and then uh, you become ACP, there is an overlap of uh, PDUs. But if you are only ACP directly, uh, so instead of 60 points, here it is uh, 45 points. So those details also given here. So by virtue of your uh, practicing things, if you are proving, so you will qualify for 45 points. Uh, that is again, that is one of the thing after writing exam, you should not leave. So that's how attending pe people meeting lectures you are giving. So all these things will qualify for your PDUs. Credential. Even some companies just started uh, being, if you want to be agile practitioner, they encourage them I and take this exam also. That's uh, some trend is coming. Even our people are just encouraging. So a lot of people you can see here. And uh, just for, you see, since you said uh, I got a few statistics. So there are PMPs who are 35,400 in India. So probably and uh, ACPs are just uh, toddlers at uh, beginning. So it is just touching 580. That is the last month. So probably 585 uh, 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 this week. These are Indian numbers. Uh, Indian numbers. Around, uh, 30 to 40 people get certified on ACP every month. And around 1,000 people on uh, PMP every month. So that's, that's uh, statistics. Probably we can join the uh, group of uh, 20, 23,409 members in India. 23,000 members in India, close to around 600 ACPs and uh, 30,000 PMPs in India currently. So these are all active uh, PMPs and many Those are
different subject matter experts. And what PMI believes is the problem whatever you face, be it in agile or whatever it is, project management, the problems you face are not unique. Somewhere, sometimes people would have faced those problems. So be part of this community and you need not reinvent the wheel again. Be part of this community, people like Srini or Ashish who is there or people who are practitioners who, who face this kind of problem can help you also in this problem and move forward in your profession. And in a way, you also give back to the community and profession. And you also grow along with all this. Yeah. In, in one word, probably since Jacob, I'm excited to say one word. I mean, that's advancement of learning, what we can say. And sometimes I feel, if you see PMI in my initial days, I'm member for last nine years. So one of my prof who was closely associated, he was saying that if you read from this side, that means normally whenever uh, in our college exam, school exams, so you write EM, IMP means that's important question like that. So as he was saying, probably that can be one important element to connect with our communities and uh, professional development. Thank you.